a year ago you transfer in from Auburn and you get kicked into the lineup pretty quick. Now you have the full off season. You got a year of experience under your belt with this team with Coach Ricker. How different is your preparation for this season? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm coming in with the mindset of trying to be the best offensive lineman. Uh, not trying to be selfish, but you know, I gotta, I got I know I got to step up my game personally, and uh, we're doing that. Just watching more film, just making sure I get my body weight right and keep on gaining that body weight. So those later on games towards the end of the year, I'm still healthy and I'm still at 100 percent. I still can perform at 100 percent. Uh, you mentioned your body weight. What are you at now compared to a year ago? Uh, I'm at 310 about a year ago. I was about about 2 285, 290. What do you want to be? Uh, I'm working my way to 320 right now. Hopefully I'll get there before the first game of the season. Uh, it's I can trust me, I can tell a big difference. When, as much as you're running around at camp, can you put on 10 pounds in a month? Uh, I mean, if I eat a lot, <laughs> I drink a, a lot of fluids, it can happen. I believe it. All right, you say you want to be the best offensive lineman. How do you measure that? From the outside looking in, it's easy to see, like, you know, sacks given up and that kind of thing. But you're critical of your own job. How do you measure being the best offensive lineman? Um, I say being the best offensive lineman is being consistent. Uh, that's I feel like that's the biggest thing because, you know, anybody can come in and anybody can be good. But, you know, if you have an off day, that means that you're throwing the, the other four off as well. So I feel like being consistent and just being on top of your stuff, that's the biggest factor. Offensive line, always a very tight group yes, and yes, working out together, spending time together. Yes, if you take yourself out of the group, looking at all the others, who's made the biggest change from a year ago to now in terms of adding strength or losing weight or in better shape? To be honest, that's a, that's a really good question because, you know, I, we're so, like, invested with the old line Like, we're so, like, with the old line that I only really see the old line But if I would have to say a, a big difference would be the quarterbacks because, you know, the, our starting quarterback from last year left. He went to the league and we got a new transfer in. I, I'm excited to see what they have, you know. There's still more competition, so I'm, I'm happy to see what's, what's going on. All right, you mentioned the quarterbacks. You got Tanner, you got Preston, you got Derek. As an offensive lineman, do you even notice when they rotate in and out? Does it make a difference to you in terms no, of how they call the honest, play or anything? No, uh, to be honest with you, no. Uh, we only really see a difference when uh, an offensive lineman might be missing. Or uh, hopefully, you know, we can get to the point where we can rotate people in and not skip a beat. Coach Ricker's big on like cross training you guys at different positions. Yes, sir. Is that simply so you can fill in for each other, or does the experience at different spots help you do your own job too? Uh, I feel like it's both. You know, I feel like definitely the more experience you have, just that's how you, I mean you're gonna perform better because you know you just have knowledge. You just if you're playing, you know, right tackle and you understand right tackle, but you move into guard, like you're still gonna understand the tackle spot, so you know where your help is coming from, you know where your help is not coming from, and it just it just helps out. All right, I know you're only two days into camp, but the guys you go against in practice, who's impressed you on the defensive line? Um, always Elijah Chapman, to be honest. You know, uh, he's been lining up more on my side, and you know, he's always coming in and he's always uh, bringing the heat. And I, I try to match him, if not, try to you know, try to be better than him every day. That's my goal. <laughs>